So what's next on the horizon for fintech? Well, the future of fintech is uncertain, as new technologies and business models emerge, and regulatory environments change. However, in this next module, we will talk about some of what we think are the more exciting and innovative trends that are coming up. The first of these trends is virtual reality and augmented reality. VR and AR can provide customers with immersive, interactive, and personalized financial experiences, such as enabling banking consumers to access virtual branches and interact with virtual financial advisors. Secondly, AR technology is being developed by fintech firms to allow investors to make more informed decisions. For example, AR can be used to display real-time stock market data on a physical object, allowing investors to monitor their portfolios in real time. We also envision VR being used by fintech companies in the insurance space to recreate accident scenes and enable insurance adjusters to investigate claims more accurately and efficiently. Lastly, VR and AR can be used together to create interactive financial education tools and simulations that enable students to learn about financial concepts in a more engaging and memorable way. This can be likened to a virtual classroom where students can learn and practice their skills as well as interact with others in a safe and controlled environment. Also on the horizon is quantum computing, which is a very exciting innovation that can provide significantly faster and more powerful computing capabilities. In fintech specifically, quantum computing can enable financial institutions to perform more sophisticated risk modeling and analysis, allowing for more accurate assessment of potential risks and better informed decision making. On the buy side, fintech firms are exploring the use of quantum computing to optimize portfolios by analyzing vast amounts of data and identifying the best investment strategies. You can think of quantum computing as allowing buy-side firms to be able to quickly analyze and maximize returns, or to build and test sophisticated investment models, or to reduce overall risk. We also see quantum computing being applied to the creation of more secure encryption algorithms, making it much harder for cyber criminals to hack into financial systems or steal sensitive data. Lastly, there are fintech firms working with financial institutions to use quantum computing to analyze vast amounts of transactional data and potentially identify fraudulent activities in real time, allowing for more effective fraud prevention. And another ongoing major development is the continued growth of blockchain and decentralized finance technology in general. DeFi, which stands for Decentralized Finance, presently allows for trustless peer-to-peer -peer digital payments without the need for traditional intermediaries, as well as decentralized exchanges where buyers and sellers can exchange assets directly without the need for a centralized exchange or broker. However, blockchain technology can be used for much, much more. For example, smart contracts that automate all sorts of transactions and execute them automatically when certain conditions are met, kind of like a virtual vending machine. Blockchain technology can also allow for decentralized identity verification and logistics, as well as proof of authenticity, like we see in NFTs. And in terms of AI and machine learning, we're just barely beginning to scratch the surface of how this technology could disrupt finance. We've already talked at length about how AI and machine learning can help in investment and risk management presently, as well as compliance automation and customer service. However, innovations such as ChatGPT and other AI interfaces are being developed and refined continuously, and fintech firms are constantly thinking about new ways to apply these technologies. And lastly, another future trend that we foresee in fintech will be wearables and the Internet of Things, IoT for short. Here are some specific examples and analogies of how fintech firms aim to incorporate wearables and IoT to transform finance. Now, we're very familiar with wearables in contactless payments, 
such as the ones on your smartwatch, for example. However, these devices can also be used to track personalized offers and promotions based on user data, enabling more targeted and relevant marketing campaigns. Almost like a personal shopper that provides tailored recommendations based on the wearer's preferences and needs. For insurance fintech firms, wearables and IoT devices can be used to monitor the health and well being of users, providing valuable data and actuarial statistics, thereby enabling more personalized healthcare services, like a personal health coach that provides real time insights and recommendations based on the user's health data. Far from being exhaustive, these are just a few examples of how emergent future technology is being developed by fintech firms to transform the financial services industry. However, the development and adoption of these technologies is uncertain, which makes it so interesting. So what other emergent technologies and trends can you think of that could have the potential to be game-changing in fintech? Congratulations, you've made it to the end of our introduction to fintech course. In this course, we define what fintech is, along with its importance, and explain the history and evolution of the space. We also identify main areas in fintech and discuss how they've changed traditional practices. Furthermore, we touched on fintech regulations and compliance, and explain the future of fintech. We hope this overview was insightful to you, and thank you again for taking this course. However, this course is just the beginning. For those of you who are interested in a career in the financial technology industry, I strongly recommend you continue on CFI's Exciting Fintech Industry Program, or FTIP Certification Program, where we expand on more specific topics in fintech.